But in regards to TSMC Taiwan Semi, they delivered a report that should at this point put AI bubble concerns to rest, and I, I just mean at this point. Management called demand, quote, genuine, pointing to strong financial returns at cloud providers, even saying, and this is from the CEO, quote, I checked their financials, they are rich. That confidence is why the next three years of TSMC CapEx will exceed the prior three years combined at roughly $100 billion. The world's largest chip maker just crossed $100 billion, also in annual revenue for the first time, and it sold out through fiscal 2026. Customer engagement timelines are now stretching two to three years ahead for NVIDIA, AMD, Broadcom, seeing all of those names, especially AMD, uh, higher, over 6% higher. That CapEx flows straight to equipment makers. ASML hitting a $500 billion market cap today for the first time with LAM research, onto innovation, applied materials, also rallying. TSMC is really just a bellwether for the entire sector. But on competition, last hour you asked me about this, management dismissed concerns about losing share to Intel. They actually just said no, citing key customers like <laughs> NVIDIA and Apple. In a market, though, where AI demand is accelerating and only one foundry can execute at scale, TSMC's position is, quote, unmatched, according to Susquehanna. And JP Morgan, just in a note just now, saying higher margins and stronger revenue could push 2026 EPS estimates up to up between 7 and 10 percent. In other words, TSMC shares may still have room to grow especially if all of these sell-side analysts raise their estimates.